Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I was thinking, I do a lot of thinking off camera, that I would replay the Wiggles deck on the GR Challenge side machine dealio here just to see if it has the same sort of effect because maybe it was just a very fluky win. Especially maybe against Brutus, we'll see. So let's go over, try it and see how things go. Well, with Clyde here, that could be sort of an issue because of the psychic versus my fighting, but with my loads and loads of HP and draw power, it might not be, so we'll see soon enough. Uh, Drowsy is not resistant to my fighting, so I could probably plop that on there happily. Uh, I got Professor Oak right away, but... Uh, kinda wanna... Kinda wanna just hold on to the stuff that I've got right now, because he's not going to be able to knock me out in one shot anyway, so I was just kind of, oh man, this king is kind of, <laughs> so I might as well Professor Oak now. I was, you know, I was hoping that I could wipe him out relatively quickly, but alas, alas, well, actually maybe not. Maybe I should uh, just keep at that, because maybe I can special punch into Oblivion, because the double damage weakness of Kangaskhan is Wigglytuff. And jab. Don't need the special punch just yet. And Kangaskhan will be knocked out in two hits, so <laughs> maybe I won't even need the wiggly tough side of things. Uh, maybe? Possibly? Yeah, I'll just Professor Rogue to see what I get. I mean, it's I, I filled up on energy cards anyway, so. Uh, Hitmonlee, sure. Got another wiggly. I should actually use that in general, huh? Hmm. Hmm. No trainer cards for me to... Uh-uh. <laughs> at least I got to see the hand. I'm gonna go Pokemon Trader Wigglytuff into Jigglypuff. Just for now. Just for now. Yeah. <laughs> gonna place that on Jiggly and Special Punch. I don't even know if I'll need the Wigglytuff in this sort of situation. That's why I wanted to just start pressuring with the Hitmonchan. And there's another Kangaskhan, but I can actually do more damage with the... Hitmonchan than anything right now, even if I had the Wigglytuff out, so... Put that on there, and jab. So you go, you keep on fetching, I'll keep on punching. <laughs> how's, how's that sound? I got the double colorless for a future Wiggly, and he's, just, he's got so many other Kangaskhans! There's so many! <laughs> it just feels like that, but anyway. Um... Uh, I guess hit Mon Lee then. Special punch. But yeah, the, the, the Kangaskhans have a lot of HPs, so it kind of, kind of feels like they last a while. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> and alas, that did not work in the favor of the fetching. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it wakes up or not, so we just keep on trucking along with our punching. I'm gonna remove that energy off of Drowsy. Put that on Jiggly, and jab for another prize card. So yeah, it doesn't look like we're gonna really need the Wiggly at this rate. Might be able to... Do... Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, I might be able to dish out some decent damage to Hitmonchan, but not at that rate. Uh, oh, 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 oh! Surprise! Attack! <laughs> the full heal energy. I will go for the special punch, though, anyway, ahead if I am able to. Uh, nope, not this time. So he's he's just hanging on by a thread here. Bill's teleporter, very nice. So we might be able to get said to Wiggly under Bill's teleporter. Let's check out his hand. Uh, that sleep might be nice to take away there. And the other cards, you know, just kind of were there from before. Teleporter. Oh, we got the eight card draw. Very nice. Another Jiggly. Might as well build here. Yeah, now, we're, now we're starting to get into that chain of events here. There we go. I can't switch right now because I don't carry switch. I have mostly draw power here, but I can continue to fill up the bench and call it a turn. Doesn't really matter if Hitmonchan will wake up per se, because chances are uh, it's going to wake up at the end of his turn, so... Well, maybe it'll never happen again. <laughs> the, uh... Long distance hypnosis is kinda kinda not gonna work now. So 
Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just do the retreat into the Wiggly for the maximum amount of damage and end the game right here. Voila! Nice and quick. But yeah, I think this could very well be a speedrunner's deck. Assuming you can get Wiggly tough early enough in the game or something like that. Melissa! Grassy grass time! And that means no resistance to my fighting or Wiggly. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's some flying grass types that have fighting weakness. You, you've seen me utilize them before. But not there's nothing that resists the Wiggly, so... Anyway, I'm gonna eventually get a shuffle that'll give me some singular basic but <laughs> Eventually give me a shuffle that'll give me a singular basic Pokemon, as I was saying. Like now! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, no choice but the Hitmon Cham. I got a bunch of suitable stuff to use for my turn. I go first, so needless to say, Rocket Sneak Attack is. Oh. Yeah, I know that possibility of poison could be in play, but anyway. Got Bill's Teleporter. Oh man! <laughs> Challenge! Well, we know we'll be able to draw two off of that because the AI never, never accepts the challenge. More Hitmon. Alright, we can definitely use that. And jab the Weedle. So there's a lot of basic Pokemon in her opening hand there. Kind of unusual since you're normally supposed to balance it so it's you get two or three in your opening hand or so. One, two, or three, but I prefer two or three because just the case of that one hit kill dealio on the opponent's side. Um. Energy removal that, and I think I'm gonna try and just accelerate stuff here. I, yeah, I got a decent set of cards in the hand right now, but I just want to. Yeah, there we go. I just, I just want to get stuff going here for the future. So we're gonna go plop that on there and see if we can get a head flip off that. Nah, but we got the Professor Oak for the future anyway. But for now, I'm gonna keep that Wiggly Tough on hand. And the Scyther pops out. That could be one of those issues. Because, <laughs> th yeah, yeah, well, we'll see. Because uh, I will be getting Wiggly right now. I might as well plop that in play, Professor Oak. You know, when you plop stuff in play, it increases that Wiggly attack power. And there's Moonstone. Could I get another? <laughs> maybe another wiggly tough perhaps maybe I was thinking sure <laughs> and, oh that's right I just put it in play <laughs> we're fine now we're fine we're decent for the turn energy removal on the scyther Pills teleporter yes so we might be able to get more energy removal yes we did and we could attack, but we kind of are stuck here, so we just leave it as is. The uh, requirements of Scyther are kind of high when I got this much energy removal, so... Uh, I'm just going to put that on there for the future possible retreat energy... Oh, oh yeah, there's nothing on the... She didn't atta attach anything, that's right. So, oh, okay, there's going to sword dance then, but I'm just going to end up removing that. There we go... Uh huh. <laughs> so now we got another one coming. Um, I might as well just go straight into it, huh? <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll even need the other wiggly tough, but or I should say other two wiggly tough, but they are there in case I need them. Uh, it's kind of slow getting them out. It's kind of kind of weird if you think about it, but there we go. And. <laughs> There we go! <laughs> and do the wave, sure. So I got loads of Wiggly all day and all night for the sweeping power. Aside from an infinite stun spore uh, head flip, it's gonna be a pretty easy sweep from here on out. Because the uh, HP reserves on her side, not above 60. <laughs> Might as well see what's in hand. Uh, about the same stuff, actually. Oops. I'm gonna go put that on there and do the wave. So yeah, I got, this is game number two here, guys. Uh, I got an energy for that Venonat to stall. No, you can't. So what were you so happy about? I don't know, cause I win. I don't even have to trade for anything or put any energy on anything else. Look how much card, how many cards I drew. 
and the set up this deck. Liz is up next. And you know, if you think about it, not, not too many decks could benefit from this much draw power, because if you don't have the support for this sort of kind of draw power, it's like drawing into air. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I typically don't do that much draw power, because I need that versatility, but with the Wigglytuff filling up the bench and the no resistance of the Wigglytuff, it kind of really works well for that critter. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's other stuff that could benefit from that, but it's not like it's a it's it's nearly as beneficial as the Wigglytuff, basically. Anyway, I got Bill, so uh, Professor Oak is kind of nice. So I'm gonna put that on there for now and sneak attack. No, I'm not getting any trainer cards right now. Maybe they sense I've got Rocket Sneak Attack, and anyway, I'm just gonna jab for now. That Grimer will be probably knocked out next turn, as the AI tends to not attach energy to Pokémon that are about to be knocked out. Oh, they did! I'm <laughs> just, just going for the poison then. Probably because I've only got one Pokémon, so it could be the idea of putting pressure on me, but... I'm just gonna end up <laughs> Professor Oaking anyway, so... Uh, is it worth Professor Oaking right now? Because I want to energy removal the next thing. I don't think so! <laughs> Because I'm going to have 50 HP by the end of the turn, 40 by the end of her next turn, and then Ekans can't do that much damage, so... We shall see... Uh, yep, that's what I figured. I figured that... I was going to say we shall see if Hitmonchan will survive, but the chances were in my favor. Um... I got Hitmonlee now. But... Let's see... Ooh, let's see what we get here. Well, I'm not going to Professor Oak, because I've got the impending Wiggly. Uh, but I should probably... Ooh. Actually, I'll Special Punch. Because then Hitmonchan will get knocked out. Then I switch over to Jigglypuff. And double colorless energy that for the win. Ah! <laughs> Can't quite for the win. Charmander got put in play. That's alright, I tried though. <laughs> alright, so Jigglypuff plan though is still in effect, because I can still get the knockout. So I'm gonna put that on there. Not attack with the Wiggly, because we don't have the energy for the Wiggly. We're just gonna go for the Pound, and knock her back down to one basic Pokemon. And then on the next turn, maybe, unless she, oh shoot, unless she gets another basic, ah! <laughs> unless she gets another basic, I can win with Wigglytuff, because Professor Oak is gonna fill up the bench with stuff. Well, most likely. It's, it's There's a slim chance it won't fill up the bench with stuff to be able to knock out the Charmander, but I wouldn't count on that. <laughs> Oops, yeah, I got the Jigglypuff for one thing. Evolve that. Professor Oak. See, now I would just need one more basic Pokémon to do the dirty deed, and there it is. And there's another one there. And then we do the wave. It's because we got a full bench. The sweep has been established. <laughs> <laughs> revive for... I don't know. <laughs> I guess just because she can revive, do the wave, but finish the game. So I think this deck is still working pretty effectively. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Next game, Brutus. This could be where I eat my words because of the double damage fighting attacks, although Neutral damage, Mr. Mime. If that gets put in play, that would kind of put a damper on his plan. Uh, Hitmonchan, Jigglypuff. I'd like to go first because of Rocket Sneak Attack there, but who knows what the coin flip will yield. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll get the trainer cards out of that. Oh, Fighting Resistance. So, well, Mr. Mime could still come in play as a bad play by opponent AI, so you never know. Actually, it might very well be in play already. No, it's not. Got this Cubone, got that Scyther, alright, so, sneak attack. Useless! Useless! Other than being able to see the hand, but... So yeah, it looks like two Marowak are coming then. Uh, challenge, Let's see what we can get out of that. Hitmon Lily, could be nice for those bench attacks. Remove that for sure. And... Yeah, I think I'll... I'm just, I'm kind of lacking in stuff. <laughs> I don't want to drop the Wiggly, but 
I could get another Wiggly later, and I might just end up reliant on the fighting Pokémon anyway. Jigglypuff, Hitmon Chan, oops, uh, Hitmon Lee. Uh, should I just start attaching energy to other critters instead? Let's find out first. I don't want to just be sure that I've got the resources, basically. Maybe I shouldn't have dumped all the Pokémon with Trader. Anyway, I can get heads, very nice. And then I could possibly trade for a Wigglytuff. No, oh, I got it, never mind. Uh, so I guess we're going to Wigglytuff then. Huh, that's where the cards seem to be leading. And there's the Marowak. And there's the Marowak. Well, Dark Marowaks, I should say. And, well, you're not gonna... I thought you I was thought for sure you were gonna Swords Dance or something. Uh, wait, wait, hold on a sec. But first put that in play, but... I was thinking... Hmm... Hmm, I don't know, maybe not. I was thinking I should power up Hitmonchan and go for a switch. That just seems kind of like a waste, you know? Especially when I could probably Professor Oak into energy removal and hinder the Scyther anyway, so I'll just hold off for now. Uh, so it's going for the Slash, as expected. Bill's Teleporter... Yes! Two of them are bound to work in any given game. Bunch of fighting. So we're gonna do that. Yeah, I guess I'll just, just leave the Hitmonchan to be KO'd. Or should I? Hmm. <laughs> Let's throw him off a turn here. And end off there. So with that, uh well, with that Professor Oak, you might be able to get a decent amount of resources going there, but I don't think he has as much resources to handle our Wigglytuff. In all honesty, I mean, maybe he will? Possibly, but the, yeah, they're kind of they're kind of behind on the energy curve here. Uh, I'm going to do that, because I think I will end up just going for a switch and end the turn. Because, yeah, if I knock... Uh, ooh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say, if I knock uh, Scyther down to 10 HP, probably will not uh, switch it. Probably, maybe, might me, but eh, let's see what he got after the... Ooh! After the Professor Oak. Okay. Uh, probably the Item Finder. Yeah, the Defenders are useful, but the Item Finder could uh, bring forth another energy removal, so... I'm going to get a Hitmonlee set up on the side there. Yeah, this is a good, uh, this is a strangely long game. I'm not used to this. Hitmon <laughs> uh, Lee is promised. Bill's teleporter probably should have did that already. And yeah, here we go. Double colorless. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm gonna run low on cards, so maybe I should stop after this challenge. I think I think I got all the res <laughs> got all the resources for the sweep. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the turn here. Twelve turns to sweep them. <laughs> I think I can pull that off, guys. And we go Wigglytuff. Who would have guessed? I'm gonna also gonna put the other Wigglytuff in play if I can. So let's do the wave and the sweep. As we go, oh man, <laughs> just going for that double damage more than anything. Is the uh, multiple bone hits of sorts? Yeah, do a little bit of. Uh, it did no bench damage, but yeah. Uh, after that, though, he's kind of sort of stuck in a way because I got the other Wigglytuff then coming and yeah. Uh, actually, that's right. He did the switch. Um. Uh, wait a second. What do I have? Oh, Moonstone for it. There we go. Just in case I need something else in general. And then we do the wave. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of forgot that the multiple bone hit did this four switch. Yeah, whatever, whatever. So it's fine, it's fine. We're good. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have the energy for... Ooh. That's, that's a game over situation right there. <laughs> so I'm just going to be knocking out things turn after turn. Except the Scyther, is that's... Oh, that... I thought he had the, was going to put out the full health Scyther. Uh, that doesn't have the energy, yeah. That's... Why would you... 
The Dark Primate could be more useful. I, I would have thought you would have wanted to slash at the site there, but I guess you can save it? Maybe? Possibly? But anyway, I'm just gonna go for another wiggly top then and do the wave. So yeah, as long as I've got like 10 cards left in the deck when I start my sweep, we are pretty much good. <laughs> generally. Uh, so... Oh jeez, you're not looking too good there, are you? And... Do the wave. So now, everything on this side of the field is one waveable into a KOable. So slash, but I got the other wiggly tough waiting in the ears. Put that on there. Get that set up in case I need another wiggly tough, though I wouldn't count on it. Like, even against fighting Pokemon, it just sleeps so hard. <laughs> <laughs> you can shuffle that all you want. It's, it's all up to you. And do the wave! <laughs> Voila! Now who knew would it get? Oh, Kangaskhan, that could, that could be a bit of an issue. Maybe? Maybe? Except for the fact I got Hitmonlee. <laughs> Gonna retreat. Hitmonlee, double damage, high jump kick. Double damage, yep, yep, yep. We get this, yep, 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 yep. 100, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot of draw power happening there. <laughs> One more to go. Allison, energy removal could be a factor depending on what deck she gets, but who knows. All I know is this deck really is fast. <laughs> um, now I'm gonna have to reshuffle a few times, maybe? Might be, we're gonna have to see. No, okay. Uh, no choice but to leave with Hitmonchan. And... Nothing, we're going about going first. <laughs> oh, Hitmonchan versus Hitmonchan. And it's gonna be a jab a thon here, probably. <laughs> Put that on there. I'm gonna go straight for the Bill's teleporter. I went for the bottom one first because like in case I drew cards, then I wouldn't have to scroll so far down. Uh, oh, no, mm -mm. Yeah, that's an iffy situation, but nothing much I could do about that. Chances are I'll be able to get some more draw power later on there. Uh, she might just special punch on the next turn, so I might be better off going for the Hitmon Lee. I think I will do that. And jab. Because then I'll be able to finish off the Hitmon Chan, assuming I get the uh, energy cards in time. Well, actually, no, I won't be able to. It'll be one more turn before I get another fighting chance, per se, I guess you can call it. Fighting energy, put that on there, and then stretch kick something. I guess a sand shoe, because it's low on HP. I can potentially get a prize card. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know about uh, Hitman Lee surviving a turn, though, after this. We shall see. Oh, I got Bill! Oh, man! Yeah, I could trade for a basic. Double colorless and jiggly. Oh, man, I don't think I'll need to trade for a basic now. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Actually, I didn't really wasn't that much worry for the Hitman Lee, is there? I'm definitely putting Jigglypuff in play, just in general, because I'm gonna... Oh shoot, that... That was a mistake. Oh shoot! Because I even put the energy on the... Oh shoot, well I'm gonna stretch kick that sand shoe and get that prize card. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a big mistake on my part, oh jeez. Oh, I got another hit Hitmonlee. <laughs> Oh jeez, some days, I swear. And jab. Yeah, that was not one of my uh, best plays for sure. And Jigglypuff, but I got the Hitmonlee as backup, so... Although... Wait a second. Uh, do I want to trade that Hitmonlee for something else? Maybe. Like, maybe go for the Hitmonchan? Possibly? Um, I think I might just do that. Jigglypuff. I mean, I don't want to go for the Wigglytuff. He's just going to be KO because I don't really have the bench Pokemon for that right now. Because due to my flub. <laughs> and there we go. Put that in play -o. There we go. And pound. So I'll be able to finish off the Hitmonchan next then, and then I'll have the top basic Pokemon via the, uh, well maybe not, <laughs> I was gonna say, via the Hitmonchan that I have, but 
potion surprise there is kind of an issue. <laughs> ah, jeez. Oh, man. Need more basics. Thank you. <laughs> um, that's going to take two turns and knock it out anyway, so I might as well jab, jab. <laughs> just kind of keep fueling the Hitmon chans. Oh, you did a switch. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Just going to try and throw me off with the sand attack then. This her Hitmonchan barrage is finally, finally over. Oh, Professor Oak! So happy to see you. I'm playing that on Hitmonchan because I'm already kind of behind on the energy. <laughs> so yeah, just gonna plop that in play. Jigglypuff, Hitmonlee, Hitmonlee, yes. Moving stone for oh, the Wiggly. <laughs> finally, finally. No. You know, I'm actually not that in bad shape or anything like that, it was just a thing of the possible, uh, a, a possibility of getting swept without any bench Pokémon, but with so much HP and all my critters, it wasn't that likely as you see, so, yeah, I think, I think I got the game won now. And build? Let's see, we get Professor Oak and another Wiggly. Mm-hmm. Should I just... Oh, should I should challenge first. I was like, should I trade for a Jigglypuff and... I don't know, maybe I'll get another Maybe I'll get another Jigglypuff with the uh, coin flips. Ooh, sneak attack. I will see... Oops. We'll see what we get here. How about the plus power? No surprises here. Unless she draws it again. Um, I should probably go to the Wigglytuff and jab. Hopefully I'll be able to get some heads along the way, and it's not there, of course, but... Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was a terrible, terrible mistake on my part, really, on the game, and I think... I think, I think we're decent now, I think. We're decent now, there's a Jiggly. That's gonna be Jiggled. And... <laughs> heads, please, thank you. So now I've got a 60 beater here turn after turn. Maybe she recognized I would put out Wigglytuff, but that's why she wanted to keep the uh, Hitmonchan ready for in case of a surprise special punch, but then I just have another... I'd have another uh, special... I mean, uh, <laughs> I'd have another do the wave come in there anyway. Uh, let's see what I should... Probably the Jigglypuff, actually. <laughs> because it's not... Like, like, it's just, just, it's in the energy range, basically. Anyway, I'm at Bill's Teleporter, there we go. Mm. Hmm. Maybe I should actually... Oh, Gust of Wind, that's gotta go. <laughs> uh, should I put it in play, or... Or should I be worried about that? Oh, no, that's right, she switched it! So it doesn't have the same energy. Oh, okay. Oh, I was overlooking a turn thing. <laughs> and then we do the wave, because now we have everything maxed out for victory. Hit Monchan to try and do double damage, I suppose. But that's not really... Uh, oh, Gust of Wind. Okay. <laughs> this is if you drew Gust of Wind. Wait, for the, for the other one? <laughs> okay, I'll just kind of switch back over to the other one, probably. Energy removal on the Mewtwo for the Psychic Energy. Actually, I'll, 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 I'll probably go do that as well. Put that on there for the promised switch in... Actually, should I go Hitmonchan? <laughs> Just had to think about this for a second here. I think I should actually go Hitmonchan. Because... The remainder of her Pokémon are kind of kind of in trouble, even if I have Hitmonchan out there. Well, I get, oh, she's got her own Hitmonchan there. Oh, she had an energy, though. Uh, but yeah, the thing about it is... The Wigglytuff could be possibly vulnerable in a way, in, in that sort of way, so... I thought maybe it might be worthy going that way. <laughs> no energy to remove it, so... Yeah, I'll just jab for now. <laughs> And save the Wiggly for later, because we only ran out of camera space there, but we're good, <laughs> good enough. I was gonna say that uh, 
Uh, we're pretty good with the Hitmonchan here because of the certain situation. I can set up the Wigglytuff on the side. But for now, I'm just going to go with the Hitmonchan and call it a turn. So yeah, what I did with the camera is I put it into HD mode, and I shouldn't have had it in HD mode because of the, uh... <laughs> It, it, it takes more space to... yeah! Yeah, so I put it on the lowest mode, because the audio stays the same and all like that, so... Anyway... <laughs> that was... this is just like a whole embarrassing part in general, I gotta say. <laughs> this is the first time mistake early on, and me losing track of what I said! <laughs> anyway, special punch to Hitmonchan. Yeah, we're gonna, we're, gonna we're gonna get through this, I promise you. We're gonna get through this. <laughs> Potion. And I think I should just switch over to the wiggly top then just to kinda speed things along for victory. Cause I think we're in decent shape in general. Yeah. Do that. Wiggly. And actually no no, I'm not gonna use any draws. We're we're low on the cards right now, so. Let's just wave our way to victory. Well, assuming that she doesn't have something with a high enough HP. Oh, Mr. Mime actually could be. If she can switch it. Let her switch into it. And she probably will. Oh, she didn't? Oh, that was a big mistake. <laughs> probably even a bigger mistake than I did earlier on in this game, because the invisible wall would have stalled my Wigglytuff for sure. And even if I would have switched over to... The Hitmonchan, yeah! So now I can freely do that to guarantee a knockout and do the wave. Well, well, one big mistake on both sides, but hers ended up being much more vital. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, if not for that mistake, in all honesty, this deck would have still been... Still been a pretty good contender, I would say, so I'd say it works even against the generally stronger GR opponents. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I have an actually different deck going on.